early root development rate of radishes and microgravity. I have a sense of why that might be useful, but I'm sure you could give a much better answer of why that's important to learn about. We ended up getting about 15 projects in total. Our winning project was plant shoot and root growth amongst radishes. Why that one? That project was interesting. It went through this really strange evolution. So when we presented this project to the students for wanting to design an experiment, the team that kind of first got together, they said, oh, hey, let's do something involving mechanical engineering, right? It was very broad. The problem with that though, is you're only allowed a certain amount of space to work with. I'll show you, this is the actual, this is called the FME. You have to be able to design an entire experiment that fits inside this thing. And it's about seven inches long, it has a total volume of about 10 milliliters. It's about two teaspoons. So there wasn't much room really to work with on this one. So their mechanical engineering project kind of went out the window that slowly morphed into like physical chemistry. And they were going to look at substance viscosity that slowly morphed into eventually botany that slowly for morphed into, uh, something kind of more space astro farming. And then eventually they ended up settling on radishes. Why radishes? They're easy to grow. So there's no light that's required to grow them. They have about mm, four to five weeks till they reach maturity. Um, they're a pretty sustainable food product and it's hypothesized by several space agencies, NASA, JAXA, that this might actually be a good source of nutrients for astronauts that happen to be on longer space flights. Um, and that's. That was really the sense behind it was, is that could you grow these in a microgravity environment? And once they were grown, if you brought them back to earth, how would they compare against radishes that were grown simultaneously under what we call terrestrial gravity? And so that's the goal. We want to compare the two of them, look for any similarities or differences. And then to quantify this, to measure it, we're trying to measure the root and shoot length. So that's pretty simple. It's as simple as just break out a pair of calipers on all honesty or ruler, but we'll probably go a little more further into it. We'll break out some microscopes. We might do a little staining and just try to get a sense for, are there any significant differences between how these organisms are grown in space versus on the ground?